Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. I uh, just made up a little geometric series sum to infinity practice question. Have a go at it and come back when you're done. Okay, so a golf ball is rolling closer and closer to the hole 15 meters away. So the first second it travels 6 meters. So that's sort of another way of saying we have a geometric sequence. The first term is 6. In the second second it runs, it travels 4 meters. So it goes 6, 4. And then already we can start to see the common ratio between each term. So if we put into the calculator um, 4 divided by 6 and that will give us um, 2 over 3. So you will multiply by 2 over 3 or um, if you want it in decimal form it's 0 0.6 recurring so basically to get to the next one it'll be 4 times 2 over 3 and it'll be um, 8 over 3 and so on and the question is will the ball ever reach the hole? So what that means is we're going to add up all the distances that it travels. So we're going to go 6 plus 4 plus 8 over 3 and so on. We're going to add up every single term in this sequence, add it all together. In other words, it's the sum to infinity. Okay, and we want to see whether it reaches 15. So how do we do that? Well, we have the sum to infinity formula, which is a over 1 minus r. So a is the first term, which is 6. a is the first term. r is 2 over 3. So let's put all that into our formula. And we got 6 divided by 1 minus 2 over 3, which is 6 divided by... 1 minus 2 over 3 is um, 1 over 3. So putting that into your calculator, you will get 18. Okay, so the ball will travel 18 meters, which means it will reach the hole. So yes, the ball... will reach the hole. So if you have found this problem pretty easy, I'm going to now give you the second part of this problem and that is how many seconds will it take to reach the hole? So now we need to go back and use our geometric um, series formula and that was S N equals A bracket R to the power of N minus 1 over R minus 1 and we want to find out what N is okay so we've got 15 meters as the distance to the hole we have A is 6, we've got R is um, 2 over 3 to the power of N minus 1 over 2 over 3 minus 1. Okay, and we need to solve for N. So let's try and do that. So now we have the bottom of the fraction or the denominator is equal to um, negative 1 over 3 and then 
I'm going to move the negative 1 over 3 to the left hand side so it's 15 times negative 1 over 3 and it's negative 5 so the left hand side is negative 5 the right hand side I'm going to <clears throat> multiply the expand out the bracket so it's 6 times 2 over 3 to the power of n minus 6 and I'm going to move the minus 6 to the other side so it's minus 5 plus 6 which is 1 so 1 equals 6 times 2 over 3 to the power of n move the 6 to the other side so it's 1 over 6 equals 2 over 3 to the power of n and now we're going to use the log function so if you don't know anything about logs you're in trouble but if we log both sides and then we move into the front using one of the log laws and then we would rearrange it to make n the subject so if you don't know anything about logs you probably um, should watch our logs tutorial because it's a pretty useful tool and the answer is 4.42 seconds okay or 4.42 terms in the sequence alright so once you get the fourth term the fifth term it'll definitely reach 15 meters okay so the answer is 4.42 seconds Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.